Hey guys, we're going to go through how you to set up all your stuff uh, for your graphics and that uh, in order to make them throughout the year and that. Um, everything that I have made is a template and so it should be fairly easy to go through that you just add and plug in um, kind of thing. So first of all, let's start with downloading the stuff that you need to get. So what you'll do is you'll go to your Google Drive that I shared with you and you should have a folder that says your high school um, I put will follow it for purpose today and then you're going to download this entire folder now everything in the folder has all your graphics, all your temp, uh, text fonts uh, images that you might need to require um, and as I continue to make more uh, as I continue to make more graphics and that I'll make updated folders and that that you can add this into your new graphics folder and that so as you see I just downloaded the LaFollette's graphic folder I will now go to downloads and find where it is so right here and now I'm going to need to and for PC it's a little bit different uh, in the way this looks but it's the same process so now you're going to have to export the or export the file from it um, so for here you just got to double click and it's expanding the entire folder with PC I believe you have to right click it and hit expand folder so now that's here uh, and, no, and you no longer need the Google Drive um, for my purposes, I'm going to use it on my desktop. For you guys, um, you guys, if you have a specific drive on your work computer, that you can use that for any um, computer in that. Um, like an for uh, my other work at Madison College, we have an S drive, which basically I can uh, I look through whatever computer, and it's all all that information still there. Um, so I. So if you guys have a folder like that, that's where you should be putting this. Um, but for today, I'm just going to put this, drag this onto my desktop, and you guys, you guys will put it in your specific uh, drive. So now that I have the graphics folder here, I'm going to open it up, and the next thing you're going to need to do is uh, install all the fonts that you need. So if you go to inside that graphics folder, it says fonts to download. You'll just go and double click and open up each individual uh, text file here. So the athletic, the varsity team, the vintage college, uh, the BTX or VTKS escape. And you'll just hit go. You'll go and hit install font. It'll validate. I've already installed these on my computer, so it's going to ask me to install it again. But or ask me to do I really want to, do I want to re reinstall it? Um, and so basically, you're going to go through and install each individual one. So after you've downloaded all the ins the fonts, that um, one graphic will need to be relinked with all the images inside it. Um, and, and that's going to be the standings folder. So you'll go to the standings folder and you'll open up the Excel file rankings. Once that pops up, uh, this is going to be where you can enter in all the rankings for each individual school. If you look each like R1, R2, below it there's a drop down and each drop down it has a school attached to it. If you look here, Beloit, Janesville, Park Craig, Parker, East, La Follette, Memorial, West, Middleton, uh, some Prairie, and Verona. Um, but if you look also, it's this is a path to where it'll look for the graphic and pull it from. And this is only for mine. This is this pathfinder path is only working for mine. So we need to readjust this so the path is where yours is. So you'll go to sheet two, and you see here's all the uh, individual teams and that with links. 
So I'll pull this over to the side and you'll open up go or you'll go back to the standings folder and there's a ranking big eight schools. You'll click that and open it up. And here, if you look, each individual team has a image made already. And so we gotta relink all these in. Um, depending on the computer, there's for a PC at the very top, there's um, in the top ribbon, there's the pin to access button, copy, paste in the clipboard portion. Uh, and then it says cut, copy, path, paste, shortcut. You'll select your the first team and then you'll uh, go on the PC, you'll collect uh, copy path. For Max, you'll go down here, you'll select, you'll select your first team, Beloit. You go down to where it says Beloit Memorial on the path. You'll double click it or uh, right click it. And then you'll go down to says copy Beloit Memorial PNG as path name. You'll click that. Now the path name or where to find this image is copied. You'll then return to the Excel file, click that first one, hit Control V, and now if you look, it's adjusted it to the correct one. You'll have to go through, and each individual team, you'll have to do the same as the first one. So you're recopying all the links here to where you're actually saving it. And if you're using a shared drive or a uh, school uh, server, as in um, you can access it anywhere, any school or any computer kind of thing, your files, any computer, it should work with the same file or same path. Um, but then once you get all the way done, then you'll just go here and You'll hit file, save it because now you've just made all these changes to relink it. And then if you look, these are now updated too with La Follette, Standings, Ranking 8. You know, it's relinked to the new settings instead of the old ones here. Um, and that's it for that. So you can then hit X out here once all these are linked. For PCs, it's a little bit different. Um, it's the same idea where you need to copy the path here and then put it into the Excel file, except to copy a path um, on the top ribbon, there's uh, a, during where this says home, there's the pin to quick access in your uh, file explorer. There's copy, paste, you'll click and then cut and then there's a scissors icon, then there's a, where it says cut, um, and then below that it says copy path, paste shortcut. You'll click copy path after clicking each, or clicking the first uh, image, um, and then you'll paste that path into the Excel folder. And so that's pretty much it for uh, startup. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you can feel free to email me um, and I'll see what I can do to help you out with that. Um, and if need be, we can video call and uh, work that out for you.